Ya, biasanya saya ada sidang media sekali seminggu uh, dan soalan-soalan uh, uh, lain akan kita jawab melalui uh, kenyataan media seperti mana yang saya telah buat semalam. Uh, namun demikian, uh, saya uh, merujuk kepada sidang media yang telah diadakan oleh uh, Ketua Menteri Pulau Pinang, Yang Amat Berhormat Tuan Chan Kong Yao dan juga Yang Berhormat uh, Lim Guan Eng berkenaan dengan tawaran 2 juta dos vaksin Sinovac kepada negeri Pulau Pinang dari sebuah syarikat swasta. Uh, jadi uh, saya rasa uh, uh, sidang media itu uh, telah membangkitkan satu isu yang sangat-sangat serius. Uh, tuduhan yang sangat-sangat serius terhadap kerajaan uh, persekutuan uh, dan uh, uh, terpaksa dijelaskan uh, secara langsung dalam uh, sidang media pada petang ini. Pertamanya, saya ingin memaklumkan bahawa saya telah menerima sesalinan surat yang dimaksudkan oleh uh, Ketua Menteri Pulau Pinang iaitu surat yang bertarikh 1 Februari uh, yang uh, ditulis oleh uh, Mr. Yong Chi Kiong uh, daripada Kota Kinabalu, Sabah uh, yang ditulis kepada Yang Amat Berhormat uh, Chao Kon Yao, Ketua Menteri Pulau Pinang sumbangan uh, pembelian vaksin COVID-19 untuk kerajaan negeri Pulau Pinang Di sini disebut bahawa derma ini adalah dalam bentuk pembayaran kepada pihak Sinovac Biotech Limited untuk kos vaksin sebanyak 2 juta dos. Dan uh, penulis surat ini uh, telah mengenalkan diri sebagai rakyat Malaysia dan merupakan pengarah urusan untuk syarikat Singtai Development Enterprise Limited yang berpangkalan di Hong Kong. Dan dalam surat ini disebut bahawa beliau akan bayar um, deposit US dollar 2 juta uh, sekiranya uh, Pulau Pinang setuju dan beliau telah berhubung dengan pihak Sinovac Biotech Limited melalui pegawai jualan antarabangsa Miss Coco Chang dan uh, disebut bahawa semua transaksi bayaran akan saya buat di akaun HSBC persendirian saya di Hong Kong. Jadi uh, sidang akhbar daripada Kon Yao dan uh, Guan Eng semalam uh, merujuk kepada uh, tawaran tersebut. Tawaran ini telah dibuat pada 1 Februari 2021. Waktu itu Sinovac belum lagi diluluskan oleh NPRA. Ya, jadi um, Kementerian Kesihatan Malaysia dalam surat yang bertarikh 12 Mac oleh Datuk KSU KKM, Datuk Syafiq telah menjawab bahawa kita ada cukup vaksin bagi negeri Pulau Pinang di bawah program imunisasi COVID-19 kebangsaan. Namun demikian, saya telah mengambil keputusan untuk siasat tawaran ini. Sebab saya difahamkan uh, dalam perbualan saya dengan Ketua Menteri Pulau Pinang uh, dua hari lepas bahawa beliau akan cuba juga dapatkan sumbangan vaksin tersebut daripada Mr. Yong Chi Kong ini. Ya, Ini adalah surat uh, daripada Yong Chi Kong kepada Ketua Menteri Pulau Pinang ya, sesalinan surat ini. Uh, dan uh, saya kata kalau sekiranya tawaran ini masih lagi ada, uh, saya boleh bantu ya, untuk uh, membenarkan Pulau Pinang mendapatkan uh, tawaran derma tersebut. Ya. Kerajaan pusat melalui program imunisasi COVID-19 kebangsaan mengalu-alukan apa sahaja usaha daripada mana-mana pihak untuk mendapatkan vaksin, ya, terutamanya vaksin yang sudah pun diluluskan oleh NPRA. Jadi saya maklumkan kepada Chao Kan Yao dan juga kepada Lim Guan Eng bahawa kalau ada uh, tawaran derma tersebut, saya akan bantu untuk Pulau Pinang dapatkan uh, uh, penghantaran tersebut. Namun demikian, selepas um, uh, sidang akhbar semalam, saya rasa terpanggil untuk uh, siasat tawaran ini. Dan uh, selepas dibuat pengesahan bersama dengan pihak Sinovac di China, 
saya nak umumkan bahawa tiada apa-apa bukti atau dokumen maupun permohonan telah diterima daripada mana-mana wakil syarikat tersebut berhubung dengan sumbangan yang dimaksudkan. Malah wanita yang dinamakan sebagai pegawai jualan antarabangsa, Miss Coco Chang, di dalam surat tersebut juga telah mengesahkan bahawa beliau tidak menguruskan urusan Sinovac Biotech Limited bagi pasaran Asia dan telah menafikan pernah dihubungi bagi tujuan sumbangan yang dimaksudkan. Saya telah melaksanakan satu company search kepada syarikat Singtai Development Enterprise Limited, ejaan dan juga susunan perkataan dia mengikut surat ini. Dan semalam kita dapati bahawa syarikat ini tidak wujud. Dan apabila sidang media itu diadakan, kaki tangan saya telah mengingatkan saya bahawa saya sendiri telah menerima surat daripada Yong Chi Kiong yang sama pada 9 hari bulan Februari untuk menyumbang pembelian vaksin COVID-19 untuk kerajaan negeri Sabah. 2 juta dos juga. Dan uh, kaki tangan saya telah memaklumkan bahawa bila kita telah terima surat ini pada 9 Februari, kaki tangan saya telah merujuk kepada pihak Sinovac dan uh, pada waktu itu pun kita dapati bahawa tawaran ini adalah tawaran yang tidak betul. Uh, senang kata apa yang di tunjuk oleh Ketua Menteri Pulau Pinang semalam, kononnya ada sumbangan tawaran 2 juta dos adalah satu perkara yang palsu. This is a scam. This is bogus. Ini adalah bogus. Ya, Ini adalah tidak benar sama sekali. Kita cek dengan Sinovac, tiada apa-apa urusan. Kita cek dengan uh, uh, company records di Hong Kong, syarikat ini tidak wujud. Malah tidak ada sesiapa pun yang kenal Yong Chi Kiong, lorong lot 22, lorong Kenawai 5, Taman Sina Baru, Jalan Damai, Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. Jadi macam mana kerajaan negeri Pulau Pinang boleh menggunakan skam ini untuk menuduhkan kerajaan persekutuan telah menghalang derma 2 juta dos vaksin untuk Pulau Pinang? Ya? Saya saya nak uh, tegaskan sekali lagi bahawa sekiranya ada mana-mana pihak yang ingin membantu Malaysia, kerajaan negeri dengan menyumbangkan bekalan dos vaksin, saya mengalu-alukan. Tetapi ia mestilah mengikut saluran yang ditetapkan. Vaksin ini adalah satu barang yang dikawal. Ini bukan beli t-shirt di Shopee. Ini beli vaksin yang perlu kepada kelulusan NPRA, yang perlu kepada kelulusan regulatory untuk kita bawa masuk ke sini. Jadi bagi saya, saya ingin tegaskan bahawa berdasarkan pemeriksaan kami dalam isu ini, tawaran sumbangan 2 juta dos vaksin kepada Pulau Pinang ini adalah tidak sahih. This is bogus. Dan saya telah maklumkan kepada Guan Eng dan Kon Yau uh, dengan uh, Chow Kon Yau pagi tadi, uh, do not politicize the national immunization program with this rubbish. This is bogus. Yeah? Uh, but I'm willing to be proven wrong. Kalau sekiranya kerajaan Pulau Pinang dapat membuktikan bahawa derma ini daripada Yong Chi Kong adalah sahih, saya akan bagi kebenaran. Serta-merta untuk mereka bawa masuk vaksin tersebut. Ya. Jadi saya tidak mahu uh, mempolitikkan isu ini seperti mana yang telah dibuat oleh Guan Eng, ya. Sebab bagi saya saya bagi kerjasama yang terbuka dan terbaik kepada semua kerajaan negeri. Termasuk kerajaan negeri Selangor, kerajaan negeri Pulau Pinang, kerajaan negeri Sembilan, kerajaan negeri Sarawak, ya. Dan saya telah mengambil sikap yang sangat terbuka untuk membantu mereka sekiranya mereka nak beli vaksin. Tapi seperti mana yang saya sebutkan semalam, tempahan kerajaan persekutuan mesti didahulukan. Ya, Sebab itu kalau ada apa-apa tawaran daripada kerajaan negeri, contohnya Selangor dan sebagainya, 
saya sokong tetapi bagi mereka yang minat mestilah tahu bahawa vaksin itu hanya akan sampai selepas bekalan vaksin untuk kerajaan persekutuan sampai di bawah program imunisasi COVID-19 kebangsaan yang percuma kepada rakyat, kepada penduduk dan kepada industri. Ya, dan saya yakin dan saya telah tegaskan bahawa kita ada cukup bekalan vaksin dan kita akan dapat selesaikan pelaksanaan program imunisasi COVID-19 kebangsaan pada akhir ataupun sebelum akhir tahun ini. Sekali lagi saya tegaskan bahawa apa yang dimaksudkan semalam oleh kerajaan negeri Pulau Pinang bahawa mereka telah menerima satu tawaran daripada syarikat tersebut setelah kita buat siasatan tentang perkara ini adalah tidak benar this is bogus ya yeah? uh, jadi saya uh, saya buka kepada soalan-soalan uh, daripada pihak media ya yeah, uh, Haris saudara Haris Assalamualaikum uh, Wibi, Haris dari Malaysia Kini uh, Okay, uh, apa ni mengenai tawaran ni uh, yang dikatakan daripada Menteri Bogus ni uh, ada mungkin uh, pihak YB uh, mungkin tahu apa tujuan sebenarnya dan adakah akan lodge uh, any report with authorities to kesan uh, yang buat tawaran ni dan adakah uh, akan cuba kesan uh, yang uh, yong ni Terima kasih Ya, kita saya akan minta CITF buat laporan polis sebab kita nak tahu identiti dia ni. Ya, dia telah mengelirukan uh, Chao Kan Yao. But I wish that uh, CM Pulau Pinang and Guaneng had done their own due diligence lah. Daripada terima surat ni, ini, ini surat ini menjadi basis kepada isu yang meletup semalam yang menuduhkan kerajaan persekutuan saya. Ya. Uh, blocking the supply of vaccines to Penang through this donation. And that was a very serious allegation, which I completely deny. And I will categorically say again today that this donation or offer is bogus. Look at the letter. There's not even any letterhead. Letterhead pun tak ada. Surat yang sama yang dihantar kepada saya. Saya tak tahu tujuan dia apa. Yeah? Saya tak tahu sebab saya tak kenal Yong Chi Kong ni. Dia hantar surat kepada saya pun saya tak 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 kenal dia ni siapa. Ramai pihak yang claim they have access to vaccine macam saya sebutkan semalam dalam uh, sidang uh, dalam kenyataan media saya. Ada satu yayasan yayasan Seka yang kata dia pun ada 200,000 nak bagi kepada kerajaan uh, pusat. Saya tanya daripada mana? Sinovac. Saya cek dengan Sinovac. Saya cek dengan Pharma Niaga. Tak ada apa-apa urusan langsung. Dia kena ingat vaksin ni adalah uh, barang uh, kawalan dan uh, dia bukan uh, mudah untuk beli dan diimport masuk ke Malaysia. Jadi dia mesti ada dokumen yang boleh mengesahkan bahawa ada uh, tempahan dibuat, ada uh, pembelian telah pun dibuat. Tapi dalam kes uh, kes Yong Chi Kong ni dan juga dalam kes uh, Yayasan Seka langsung tidak ada. Dan inilah yang dimaksudkan oleh Ketua Pembangkang, Anwar Ibrahim. Dia kata, kerajaan pusat blok, kononnya menghalang yayasan uh, persendirian dan juga kerajaan negeri menerima sumbangan derma dan sebagainya. Ya, Saya yang bertanggungjawab kepada perolehan vaksin untuk Malaysia, saya tahu bekalannya datang daripada mana. Jadi bila buat tawaran sebegini, saya boleh cek dengan uh, syarikat yang berkenaan sama ada ini sahih ke tidak. Jadi saya harap uh, itu dapat menjawab soalan daripada Saudara Haris uh, daripada Malaysia kini. Saya buka kepada uh, Code Blue. Um, hi YB, I just have a couple of questions. Um, the first question is, uh, so Sarawak has announced that they procured 1 million uh, Sinovac vaccine doses. Uh, so do you know whether they had imported the finished product from China? And my second question is, notwithstanding the Penang scam, but can state governments import finished Sinovac vaccines from China and use it in their own state rollouts? Because they don't actually need your or the federal government's permission to do so. And I don't believe Sinovac has a problem with supply from China. Uh, the control of drugs and cosmetics regulations of 1984 states that any company that wants to import registered uh, pharmaceutical products needs an import license that's issued by the Drug Control Authority. 
And for the longest time, uh, a lot of tender agents for pharmaceutical products in general in Malaysia do not have backgrounds in healthcare. So essentially, can anyone uh, distribute, uh, import the, the Finnish Sinovac vaccine doses from China and uh, distribute it here? That's it, that's it thanks. Okay, uh, thanks, Sulin. I just want to clarify something uh, on, on the Finnish product uh, from China. So in our negotiations with uh, Farmaniaga, I've been very clear that um, Malaysia's uh, federal government's order needs to be fulfilled first in its entirety, 12 million doses, whether it's finished product or whether it's still finished from Farmaniaga. Now, the reason why this finished product issue has now uh, come up is because previously there was no availability of finished products. So now I've told Farmaniaga that I would like the entire order of 12 million doses for the Malaysian government, for the national immunization program to be delivered and fulfilled first, regardless whether it is still finished or finished product. And as a result of that, any further orders from the states for the finished product from the Sinovac factory in Beijing will be after, after the federal government's uh, order is fulfilled in its entirety. I've communicated this with Dr. Douglas uh, Ungah Bas, the Deputy Chief Minister of Sarawak, and I've informed him that there is no need for Sarawak to purchase any extra vaccines, any Sinovac vaccine, any Sinovac finished vaccine, because I will deliver for Sarawak as I will deliver for all the other states as soon as we get our vaccine supplies from Sinovac, from Pfizer, as well as from AstraZeneca. I've given the assurance to the Chief Deputy Chief Minister of Sarawak, and he is happy with the assurance that I've given him. Okay, just to add to that, um, because the Selangor uh, Health Exco, Dr. Siti Maria, she just told a press conference earlier that Selangor has booked 2.5 million doses of an approved COVID vaccine. She refused to say which one, but I presume that it's Sinovac. And she said that the, um, cell, the state's vaccination rollout will start in June. So, uh, so, so can Selangor go ahead? I mean, they don't need your permission again to go ahead with their state rollout. But uh, Selangor, of course, as I said, all states can uh, start their own rollouts. Uh, it's the availability of vaccines. And I can tell you categorically that if Slango is referring to Sinovac vaccines, then the national program is prioritized. And I don't know when Slango will receive the vaccines that they claim they have bought. Yeah, um, Zakia. Um, good afternoon, ID. Uh, the question is, um, you see, now we are seeing uh, a lot of this, uh, so, uh, what you call scams uh, from Yayasan Sekar, from uh, this, uh, what you call latest uh, company, which uh, you said didn't even exist. Uh, I'm sure in the future also, we will see more of these scams. So what is the government going to do to make sure that uh, the people are not, you know, uh, brought into this, uh, politicking for vaccines and not vaccines because the people's sentiments are, are, are really high and uh, we, you know, uh, we, we want to make sure that uh, these things don't get, uh, you know, don't repeat itself. What, what will be your, uh, your next step? Yeah, thank you, Zakia. Uh, that's why it's very important for the public uh, to only register through the approved national immunization program yeah that is currently the only program that has procured vaccines that are recognized by the npra any other program for now i don't know where the vaccines are coming from i don't know where the vaccines or when the vaccines will arrive or how much you will have to pay what kind of deposit you will have to put down but as far as the federal government is concerned the National Immunization Program is the only vaccination program for COVID-19 right now. It is free of charge, and it's being implemented in PPVs across the country 
including at selected GPs, uh, clinics, which have already been selected through uh, Protect Health under the National Immunization Program. But we will continue to come out and refute from time to time. And I, it's most unfortunate that I have to do this because I thought I had a good relationship with uh, Chao Kuan Yao and uh, Lim Guan Eng, who has come to see me on several occasions to discuss the immunization program, uh, only for them to politicize, uh, make uh, irresponsible uh, accusations that was based on a scam. Next, uh, Straits Times Singapore. Hi, Randy. Hello. Uh, uh, yeah, circling back to what you just said uh, earlier, so uh, this Lango issue particularly, uh, I think, uh, so the, in the website, the Slango Sri Lanka website, uh, we have noticed that uh, the vaccines that the state government claims to be procuring, uh, they are actually, it's not free. It's not going, you are given up to free. Uh, they are asking employers to register and they will need to make a deposit or a booking fee and all of that. So don't you see how this, I mean, would this complicate the nationalized, national program? Because we are giving out vaccines for free for the federal level and uh, the state government's program seems to be charging people for the vaccines at the same time or at least charging companies for the vaccines. That's one. And secondly, like now you're seen with Sarawak, you're seen with Penang and you're seen with Lango, uh, the, the talk about buying vaccines on their own and all of this. Uh, what do you think is fueling, fueling the state's uh, sort of like, is it a sense of impatience that the vaccines are not coming fast enough or is it is it the people's apprehension that the vaccine program is not going fast enough that, that the state governments are making these moves to sort of saying that they want to get vaccines on their own? Thank you. Well, I think understandably, the public um, are, are desperate to be vaccinated because we are in this third wave of infections right now. And um, we are trying to rush out the vaccination program as quickly as possible. And as I've promised the public, uh, the immunization program picks up uh, in June with more supplies coming in from uh, Sinovac, from Pfizer, as well as from AstraZeneca. Uh, so I think it is understandable that people want to be vaccinated as quickly as possible. And it's also understandable that states are proactive in trying to come up with their own programs. But I've just messaged the Menteri Besar of Slango also, and I've asked him, please don't confuse the public. Uh, yeah, because as far as the supplies are concerned, priority is given to the national program. So while I cannot stop people from registering uh, for the uh, Slango vaccination program, for paying a deposit or down payment, the only assurance I can give the public as well as industry and employers is that uh, we will get to you probably quicker than the program will. But if you still want to pay money um, and get it later, that's, uh, that's your decision. Uh, I don't want to be seen to be blocking Slango's efforts. We have to support each other. Uh, but I have to be upfront in saying that as far as supplies are concerned, uh, the um, federal government uh, supplies uh, will be prioritized. Okay, uh, I just want to confirm. Uh, so you're saying that Sarawak has cancelled its own order uh, because you said the Deputy Chief Minister uh, is satisfied with your explanation that the uh, federal government will distribute vaccine there? Sorry? Uh, so, uh, you said that the, the Sarawak Deputy Chief Minister uh, was satisfied uh, with your yeah, you explanation. Have ask, you'll have to ask. Um, uh, you'll have to ask Sarawak that question, um, whether or not they still want to pursue the sale, uh, the the purchase of the vaccines. Uh, I can only tell you that I've had a conversation with the Deputy Chief Minister, and that he's uh, he's satisfied with um, my assurance for Sarawak. Yeah, Sinchu Daily. Hi, what BKJ? Uh, if the gov is if the state government is uh, allowed to purchase their own vaccine, so who will be taking the responsibility responsible to vaccine the uh, vaccinate the vaccine? Is it only the KKM is allowed to vaccinate the vaccine? 
no pri private providers can give the vaccination. Thank you. Uh, YB? Yep. Uh, Mahani Britarian, uh, bagaimana macam persatuan perubatan uh, Malaysia MMA yang mendesak pihak berkuasa peranti MDA KKM untuk uh, menjalankan audit untuk uh, RTK antigen sebab sekarang dia kata 17... RTK antigen dan MDA kena tanya pada Menteri Kesihatan. Okey, baik. Uh, hi, Wavy. Can I just ask a follow-up question? So, if you're saying now that Pharma Niaga is uh, you're ordering Pharma Niaga to fill the government's federal government's orders of uh, 12 million doses, whether um, by the finished importing the finished product from Beijing or uh, filling and finishing it themselves, but if it's quicker for them to import the finished product from Beijing, then doesn't the whole Pharma Niaga thing um, uh, fail the goal of this? technology transfer or value add for local companies? Because as far as I understand it, uh, Pharma Niaga was meant to make profit from the sale of 2 million doses for the private sector initially when they announced it back in February. But now you're saying that they are just supposed to get in the vaccine doses regardless of whether it's important or fill and finish. Is that right? Yeah, at the moment, uh, the priority is for the national immunization program. I have no doubt that some of that order will be fulfilled by, via the fill finish. So the fill finish uh, investment will still be worthwhile for Pharma Niaga to do. I don't think uh, they will be importing the remainder of the 12 million doses orders as finished products from, uh, from Beijing. Even Beijing doesn't have that amount for uh, Malaysia right now. Uh, so we are in talks with Pharma Niaga how to divide uh, the order uh, between the fill finish line here in Puchong and also the finished products from Beijing. We are, uh, that's an ongoing discussion with Pharma Niaga right now. All right, thanks. Ada lagi? Maybe, uh, so far only three. We have uh, Pfizer, uh, Sinovac and AstraZeneca. Uh, any news about uh, other vaccines uh, that uh, might be approved soon. Um, at the moment, uh, there are other vaccines that have uh, uh, that are other companies that have submitted to NPRA for NPRA approval. So some of these vaccines, if they are um, if they are uh, later uh, approved by the NPRA and um, there's private sector purchase, uh, um, then they can go ahead with that. Yeah. YB Seven from TV3 YB. Yes. YB just want to clarify YB, the company's name was shown in, by the Penang CM in the press conference today. It was seems like a bit different from the name you what mentioned just now. But this is the letter that uh, was written to uh, Chao Konya. Yes. Is it the uh, Zintai Development YB? Yeah, Zintai Development. Okay, maybe. Uh, my second question is, have you conveyed this? No, no, come back to your first question. What, what, what is your point? Oh, we just want to clarify about the company's name, actually. Am I, am I correct? Yes, yes. So why development. I'm not correct. Why do you say it's different? Why do you want to confuse no, me? No, it seems like I just want to clarify. Yeah, no, no. Is, that, is that clear now? Yes, I think so. And my second question is, uh, have you conveyed this to the Penang CM and what was his uh, feedback to you? Uh, let's see. We also want to get to the bottom. If it is bogus, we will accept it. As being our position, we are in full support of the National Immunization Program. We did not blame you. All right, thank you. Understand. Uh, sorry, just one question, uh, YB. Uh, what's the progress with um, NPRA's approval for the Russian vaccine? And you mentioned a few companies are submitting applications for approval. Does that include Moderna? Um, I think some uh, there's a local party that is uh, interested in registering uh, 
Moderna. Uh, and um, we will leave that to the private market because Moderna is a very expensive vaccine. Uh, on Sputnik, um, it's still uh, back and forth. I think NPRA is still not uh, entirely satisfied with the data points that have been uh, provided by Duo Pharma, which is the local uh, product uh, registration holder. All right, thanks. Is there anybody else? On the line, Skibari will be Pasar Pfizer. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, this is regarding your announcement that uh, the latest guideline for pregnant and nursing mothers. Uh, okay, uh, because... Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to take that question now because we'll have an advisory uh, on uh, pregnant mothers uh, in uh, tomorrow or Friday. There will be a clear advisory that will come up tomorrow or Friday. I don't want to come up with any statement that will confuse anymore. Okay, okay. There, will be, uh, there will be a clear advisory from CITF on uh, pregnant and uh, pregnant mothers and those who are breastfeeding uh, uh, by uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow. All right, thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, YB. Yep. Uh, YB, would you like to uh, reply, uh, respond to Dr. Uh, Najib's statement? But, uh, he said Bila Malaysia will take 6.1 years. Bila dia dapat Tan Sri? Hello, YB? Bila dia dapat Tan Sri? Uh, Tan Sri, Najib. Datuk Sri, uh, you said Tan Sri. Terkejut, uh, bila dia dapat Tan Sri? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, can you hear me, uh, Sinchu? Can you hear me? Can the rest of you hear me? Well, okay, I'm gonna answer anyway. So uh, Najib keeps on saying that uh, with the rate that you're doing, it's gonna take six years. Of course, if you take the rate that we're doing now, that's how long it will take. But as I've said again and yes, again, yes. again, as I've said again and again and again, the rate that we vaccinate people will increase. It increases in June, it increases in July, it increases in August. And with the rate that we are projecting, I am confident that we can finish by this year. Of course, if Najib takes the figure of uh, the, uh, the vaccination rate today, yes, it's going to take a long time. But as I've said again and again, which he conveniently ignores, uh, is that uh, we will increase the vaccination rate from month to month. That's what he continues to ignore. Tapi tak apalah, malu apa kan? Okay, next. Um, hello, YB. So, by the way, uh, you know, we've been vaccinating at uh, uh, 30, 40,000 a day. Yesterday, we hit 76,000. So, it's going up. It is going up. Next. Hello, YB. Can you hear me? Who's it's, this? Uh, Nina from, from Bernama. Um, yeah. I was just hi, wondering Nina. if you have... Hi. I was just wondering if you have an update on the meeting with the uh, Old Folks Homes Association or if you plan to have a press conference on that later on. I had a very cordial, productive and friendly meeting with, uh, uh, with uh, the Association uh, of Elderly Care Home Providers yesterday, uh, including Mr. Fong Munto, who had a very uh, colorful video that uh, went uh, circulated uh, and was viral. Um, I gave the assurance to the operators of the elderly care homes that uh, we have never, ever uh, neglected them. Uh, KKM has not neglected them. The CITF has not neglected them. And in fact, we have already started uh, the immunization of uh, elderly care home residents in several states already for the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, so I think, uh, again, uh, I, I, I'm not uh, blaming anyone for... Um, for being very robust and, and aggressive in their comments. Uh, this is about saving people's lives and I completely understand. I'm open to any criticism, it's not, a, not an issue. But we, are, we were able to, um, to give, give them the assurance that uh, we will uh, continue to visit the elderly care homes and provide uh, vaccinations for uh, not just the elderly care home residents, uh, but also people who work there uh, to keep them safe. Uh, so I think it was a very positive meeting, 
uh, and it ended on a, on a very, uh, uh, very positive note. Right, Alagi? Uh, YB? Yep. Um, could the media have a copy of that letter that you showed us so that, uh, you know, when we are writing, we get the, our facts correct? Which one? Uh, the copy that uh, you showed us on the screen just now, the name and the, okay. the one that they sent uh, to you. Sure. Thank you. I'll, I'll pass it through Bobby. You guys know Bobby, right? Okay. I think uh, before I end, I, I just want to say that, um, uh, look, I, I, I completely understand everyone wants to play their part. Uh, and I'm not at all, um, uh, do, do I, I am not at all uh, concerned that um, there is this uh, tremendous, desire to be vaccinated as quickly as possible. I, I completely understand that. And that's what we want to try to do. But um, again, I would like to urge, janganlah mempolitikkan isu vaksinasi ini. That was clearly what happened yesterday at the press conference between uh, Chao Kan Yao and also uh, Lin Guan Eng. Um, and, and had it been something that was um, genuine, uh, I, I would be the first to apologize and I would be the first to uh, expedite for them to be able to receive these uh, vaccines as donations as quickly as possible. Uh, but when it's proven that it is uh, bogus, that it's a scam, and uh, you know that we were bashed for 24 hours uh, because of this uh, fraudulent claim, um, I feel extremely disappointed. And I feel extremely disappointed with uh, the Chief Minister of Penang, uh, as well as Guan Eng, who was a former finance minister, they should really know better than to fall for this scam. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.